Hey everyone, it's Kristen working from home at EMDC. I'm here with my colleague Tom. Tom works in our lending department. Uh, Tom, can you tell us a little bit about how your transition has been now that we're working from home due to everything happening with COVID-19? Yeah, sure. Transition's been good, really. Um, in terms of being able to keep in touch with our clients, uh, who is the most important part of what we do, um, that's been great as well. Um, either telephone calls or email is typically how we've been staying in touch. For those who don't know, can you tell us a little bit more about what our lending program offers to local businesses? Yeah, sure. We can help businesses, whether they're startups uh, or whether they're existing businesses, um, and we can help them with pretty much all aspects of their funding needs. Um, and we do that primarily through SBA loans, SBA obviously being the Small Business Administration. So we can help folks, uh, you know, purchase equipment, uh, buy buildings, uh, working capital, uh, you know, you name it. Um, so there's a variety of options that we have. Very cool. Thank you for giving us that overview. Um, I assume with everything that's happening, obviously we're getting a lot of um, calls and need to support a lot of existing borrowers. Can you tell us about any challenges that the lending department has faced and how we're helping our clients through this difficult time? Yeah, sure. I mean, um, I mean, the challenge really for us at this point in time um, is just managing the inflow of inquiries that we've received. Um, obviously, what happened with this whole COVID-19 pandemic, um, it was really overwhelming for businesses. So for us um, here at EMDC, many of our businesses are small business owners. So we really um, fielded a lot of inquiries, a lot of uh, telephone calls, a lot of emails from borrowers that needed help. Um, in deferring their loan payments. And now going forward, it's more so um, making sure that all of those details get processed to ensure that those loans are deferred and that when things get back to normal, we can just pick up and carry on as normal. Sounds like we are, even through our lending program, especially through our lending program, continuing to provide a lot of resources and reassurance to our clients. And really just being here and communicating has been a huge part of um, our lending team and, and all of our programs at EMDC. Yeah, obviously this new paycheck protection program um, that has come out. And then the economic injury disaster loans um, that have also recently um, come out. And so we can really guide our borrowers um, in the direction of, okay, what is this? Um, how do I apply? And, you know, do I qualify? Another resource that we have um, is called uh, business, uh, business Resource Partners. And it's really a local group. And there's a group of us um, that meet and talk about what's going on now and what we can offer clients. Uh, what we could, how we can steer people in the right direction that have questions. Um, so it's a really quite a dynamic group um, and it really helps us all kind of stay in touch and help us keep aware of what's available. That's great. Yeah, continuing to work with our network of partners and just supporting clients and people through this has been really a big part of um, EMDC and the client and the services that we're offering to our clients right now. Um, we've been updating our website, so check out our website, emdc.org. We have a COVID-19 resources page and it has all those business resource partners listed. It also has a lot of information on things like SBA loans, PPP loans, things like that. So if you have questions, reach out to us, uh, go to that webpage for information. And we really appreciate you talking to us, Tom, and tune in in a couple of days and we'll have another staff interview about some of the services that we're offering. Thanks so much, Tom. Okay, thank you very much.